Hello, my beautiful rays of sunshine. I hope we are all doing perfectly fine today. Um, I know it's took me a little bit to upload videos. I know I'm still getting used to being the whole YouTube sort of situation and video and everything that I do, as well as trying to make it fun for you as well. I've literally just washed my hair because I didn't really want to look like a scruff on camera. And he'd be like, who that? Who that? Um, so, as promised, I've got all my stuff over here, um, from what I have brought when I went shopping to B&M, Poundland, and then it was a surprise trip to Dobby's Garden, Garden Centre. Um, so, let's have a look, shall we? I'm going to take this off, because it is way too hot and humid here in the UK. I don't know what's happened, but someone's decided to give us sun. So, happy days. I'm not complaining. I'm just boiling right now. So, let's just take this off. Don't judge how scruffy my hair is. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Maybe I should have just kept my towel off. <laughs> oh, dear. But it's all about letting it naturally dry. Because you don't want to use unnecessary heat on your hair. Damn. Right. Okay. I use my fingers as a comb. Right, that can make me look like I have no hair or look like a boy either way we're going to just go with it right okay so this was I haven't done what most youtubers do and be organized so I've literally just put everything into bags <laughs> and I'm just planning on going through things I'm trying to remember where I've brought them um, and then if I can find my receipt somewhere then probably when I'm editing my video I'll I'll put how much it was as I'm talking about the product, if that makes sense. So, this is Style Stu Oh my gosh. Style Studio. Uh, it's a headband for when, like, you put your face masks on, or if, you're, if you've got, like, long hair. Mine's quite thick, although it doesn't look like it. Um, so, I like to have my hair either on top of my head in a bun, or up just out of the way when I put my makeup on or a face mask on because my hair tends to do this and I'm like what are you doing like did I say you could get on my face no right so anyway this was one pound 69 and like I said I live in the UK you can probably tell by my accent anyway so that's it it says selfie ready that's what it's saying. Selfie ready. I mean, you put this on your head and you're automatically selfie ready. Like, yeah. Okay. So, on the back of it, yeah, there's three photos of putting it on for a face mask, doing, um, washing your face, and then application of makeup as well. Um, and it says, get selfie ready, the perfect headband for keeping hair off your face when relaxing, applying makeup or applying your skincare. So that's going to be perfect for me. And um, let's hope it fits my head because I've got quite a big head and at the minute it looks like it just fit around my neck. But let's try it, shall we? Hopefully I'll look like Minnie Mouse. God, how cute does this look? This it's so comfortable on your head. You can tell it's going to stay on your head for a while. Like I can't wear headbands that are normally like this because they normally just like slip off. But it's probably because I've got a really big, big watermelon-sized head. That may be. That may be why. I don't know. However. 
this is really good it's so soft it's just oh it's really nice so let's take that off because i don't want to get it ruined and let's pop that back in so yeah highly recommend that guys if you're here in the uk or if there's a b&m wherever you guys live i would highly recommend you probably would be able to get this in like the Dollar Tree in America or somewhere or in the USA I don't know if it's just in America but. so there we go easy to put back in its packaging as well but you may not want to you may just be normal and not abnormal like me but where's the fun in being normal guys where is the fun right okay so we all know that I've got a German Shepherd called Lexi old news I know, and I keep talking about her. So anyway, went to B&M. When I take Lexi in the car, um, I have like a seat protector that, that shapes like this. It's from B&M, and um, basically it stops it. Well, tries to stop her from jumping over onto my um, into the front seat. She still gets really excited, and when she sees another dog, she's ripped it. So I've had to try and re-sew it, and obviously when you have to re-sew things, it's normally weaker anyway. So I wanted to try and see if I can get like a little doggy seat belt. And oh my god, guys, this is so adorable and cute. So this was two pound ninety nine. That's cheap for something like this. If you were to go to any other stores, I think it would be so much more expensive. In fact, I know I've seen it. It's like fifteen pounds for a seat belt. Um, this is just mainly to keep your dog safe and secure in your car whilst you're driving and you use it with a body harness. Now Lexi has a canine harness, um, obviously there's other harnesses out there but for her breed that's the best one. Um, normally you go, I got mine from Just For Pets, the canine harness, it worked out cheaper than any other places. It may be different now so don't hold me to that. Um, like I said, that was in the UK, so I don't know, guys, where you would go if you're not in the UK. Um, and the harness works out really well. You can get it different sizes, and they, they normally measure your dog to make sure it fits perfect. So that harness is brilliant. It's meant to be an anti-pull harness. It doesn't stop Lexi from pulling. A halty stops her from pulling. Um, but I'm hoping as she gets older, like most German Shepherds, they normally chill out a little bit. So anyway, back on track. Um, so the seatbelt heart restraint, it's called. So look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And like I said, it was only two ninety nine, so nearly three pound for just this. Yeah, okay, it's got a little dog. I don't know what breed that is, but it's cute. And you can completely adjust it. Um, the attachment here, you literally just pull this part down there. And then you clip that onto the harness, and then there's three different types of um, seat belt sockets. Well, seat belt attachments to put in the socket. So if you don't have, you know, because sometimes the middle seat, if you've got a middle seat in your car, then it doesn't always fit the the other seat belt what shape. If that makes sense. So there's different shapes. It matches your car differently. I think this is brilliant. I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, because I didn't want to um, like take it like, take it all out, get it all hairy <laughs> and show you, but like, who the hell that? Um, but yeah, so this looks really good. I'm so excited to try it, and now that I've done a re now that I've like shown you guys what I've brought, I'll be able to um, try to remember, um, you know, to give you a little bit of an update and a review on how it works. This lead is approximately 35 to 60 centimeters long so hopefully it'll keep her where she needs to be at the meantime so yeah being them again wonderful love it now i went to the town shop and i found some thing some snacks called twinnies the only thing I'm not feeling too sweet about is a chocolate banana because I don't like banana flavoured things. I like bananas and I like banana milk, like banana smoothies when it's actually got banana in it. But when it adds like the flavouring, like banana sweets, oh, I can't, no. Mm-mm, that ain't for me. 
but there's chocolate vanilla, there's vanilla flavoured, strawberry flavoured, obviously the, the nasty, nasty banana flavoured, and then we've got the double chocolate. So I'm really excited to try these. Um, they're only a pound from Pound Shop. Up. So yes, they're called sandwich cookies. I'm so excited. How I haven't had these guys, guys, you don't realise how hard it was for me to like literally resist eating these. Oh my god, they look so good. I mean, I can resist that. That's a whole new level of nasty. But the others, oh. I've been wanting to try these so much. So much. And now I can, because now I've done the review. Yeah. Right. So, that's that done. Got to be careful and sneaky. But these were a pound in um, the pound shop. These are Lexi snacks. So these, I mean, I've ended up going into them because she's run out, but really good for her. She absolutely loves them. These were a pound for 12. And so far, they're a multi mix and they just, they work really well with us. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, there's beef, lamb and poultry flavours, so, yeah, I'm going to have to hold them, make sure you decide to help yourself. Right, okay, so, ah, another B&M, this was £2, it's a candle, I literally, I love candles, and I literally fell in love with it when um, I seen it, it's a mandarin and fashion fruit scented candle, and it's yellow. So it's legit gonna go with my new house. Let's see if I can show you that. Oh, it's all about to spring. Oh my god. Um, so when I get my new house, which I will hopefully be trying to do a moving in video, but I'm not gonna hold my breath because I get really stressed out and it's just a whole new level of crazy. Um, I it's gonna suit my colours and everything. Ah, I'm so excited. Mmm. I literally look like a mad woman in B and M. I was smelling all the candles and I was seeing this. I went, <gasps> grabbed it and was like. <sighs> Oh my god, mum, dad, smell that. And I was like, wow. And they were like, okay, it's a candle. I was like, ah, but I know it's this candle and it's yellow. And it's, oh my god, and I love it and I love it and I love it. And they were like, okay. And I was like, oh. And I was like, put it in my basket, put it in my basket. And then I put it in. Oh. Eh. Um, yeah, so I need to just calm down. But ain't nobody got time for that. Who calms down when you see something like yellow like that? It's like, hello. Right, so anyway, moving on. Pound shop again. I, li I don't know why, but it it don't smell that nice. It's a freesia, 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 and peppermint smell. It's a scented glass candle. It looks like that inside. But yeah, again, I literally nearly freaked out when my mum showed it me. She was like, "Sean, have you seen this?" And I was like, "What the heck? Uh uh." And then I was like, okay, so now I've got this and this. Like, literally going to go real cool in my house. And I'm like, it's bubbly. Oh, it's a bubbly. And the hell yeah. Look. It'd be like ASMR's dream. Okay, so. It's bubbly. That just sounds all creepiness, but we'll go with it. Right. So, okay, I needed some new makeup, applicators, and with the moving house and everything, I'm trying to save money. <laughs> and you're looking at it and like, Sean, you just got candles, are you trying to save money really? But they're accessories, you're needed, they're necessities. Okay, um, so anyway, I've got some stuff because my makeup brushes that I've got, they're starting to get like nasty, and like, I'm not all about that life. So I went to the pound shop again and bought up, bought some makeup accessories uh, by Beauty Spot. I've got a powder brush. And I've had makeup brushes from them before and they're really, really good. So I'm going to do reviews using these makeup brushes so you all can tell. Um, I'm pretty sure when I've been in the, in, um, the USA, they've, so they've sold um, makeup brushes. And they're pretty good if I remember right. But you have to feel them beforehand because I know they do different types. But literally, the pound shop literally only do like one, and I mean they're rose gold, so 
Yeah, gang, gonna go to my house. Ah. And I've got a rose gold makeup box. So it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? If we think about it. All these pound each, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six pounds then. Thank you. And then because I'm needing some new shampoo and conditioner, um, I've gone to the pound shop again. I brought so much from the pound shop vlog, it is ridiculous. But although you're like, oh, you've gone to the pound shop, that's really cheap. Some of the stuff you wouldn't actually think was from the pound shop. Like you think, oh God, that's probably from our Primark or somewhere. Or, you know, from like Tesco's or Asda or other, like, supermarkets, you know, anyway. Um, I've got this green tea shampoo. It's a nourishing shampoo enriched with green tea to leave your hair feeling sleek, shiny and smooth. And it's dermatologically tested. So, you're meant to apply a generous amount to wet hair, massage into a lather, then rinse thoroughly with clean water, repeat process required. Um, so yeah, I have dried my hair quite a bit. Um, I mean, at the minute it looks knotty because I haven't brushed it after I've washed it and I need to put argan oil through my hair. Um, but yeah, so that's the shampoo. And then because I'm sad, I like matching conditioner. So that's them. They're really cute. They are 400 ml each. So, happy days. Um, yeah, so I want my hair to feel sleek. I want it to feel smooth and I want it to look shiny. Um, you know, most conditioners say that, but I've always found the pound shop conditioners and shampoos are so much better. And I don't know why. I literally don't know why. But they work. And if you know they may not work for you but they work for me and i like it so at the end of the day i'm buying things that i think some of you may want to see and what i need in my life so <clears throat> i'm just going to tell you what's right for me you know try them out if you're not happy with them then that's probably because they're not they know they don't suit you, you everyone's different and that's what i love about everyone oh god i so look like a boy oh. Right, okay. So I brought some new hairspray firm hold from the pound shop. I'm literally trying different hairsprays out at the moment. It's um added with Pro Vitamin B five and it offers a long lasting spray. The can is at three hundred ml. You've got to shake well before you use. Um it gives a gentle but for firm hold and brush away easily when required now the um hairspray that i've got at the moment i can't remember what it's called it's in like a pink pinkish sort of can um it just makes my hair feel like straw it holds it because i've got out my hair in a bun at the moment but when like, I don't know if your scalp aches when you have to have your hair in a certain, like, style for so many days. But, like, my scalp aches. And when I take my hair out, it literally just stays perfect. Which is ideal if you want your hair to stay like that. But when you want to go to bed, and, that, like, I'll work shifts, so I'll do, like, crazy hours. And when you want to try and, like, brush your hair and it hurts, and then you're just narky because you're just so tired and you just want to go to sleep you just end up like just shoving it up and blah that will do i'll sort it out next day and then it hurts even more so i'm hoping this shampoo might help uh, shampoo crocky this hairspray might help more so let's go with that and hopefully i'll be able to tell you like if it works or not now i've got some beauty blenders these are so cute there's like a really big one a medium sized one and a tiny one I'm so excited to use these, it's going to be so cool, so cool, and it's got my favourite colour as well, I think. So, yeah, all my other beauty blenders have gone grim and vile and ugh. so my plan is to get rid of all the nasty beauty blenders and knock these into my um, makeup kit. So, I'm excited to use these. I'm so sad. Who gets excited for these? I do. I get excited for these. There we go. I have nothing better to do in my life. I'm so excited to use these. 
So yeah. Um, and then because I'm a bit weird and I've just seen it and I thought, why not? Um, our old dog Kimba, she was a German Shepherd cross with our lab, and she was my mum and dad's dog, and she used to love this game called Speedball, <laughs> right? So basically, what you do is you have one person standing near the side of the living room, and then another person standing the other side, and then you both have two hands, like holders, here, and you stretch it out, and then the other person goes like that, and then it sends like this ball flying across to the other one, and then the other one stops it and then sends it flying back. And I don't know, I, and I don't know, I just think it'd be so funny. Just, I mean, it was a cheap one, it was from the pound shop. Um, I just think it'll be so funny to see Lexi's reaction because <laughs> she doesn't, if she sees fast things, a uh, natural instinct is to chase it and be like, what's going on? Um, so I think that'd just be really cute and funny to see. Um, oh, yeah, I yeah, found. So the totals in the pound shot, oh it's pound land, but it's the same thing, um, was £21.50. I did buy um, a latte, a cold latte as well, um, but like an idiot I forgot, and I bought two packs of the treats that I bought Lexi, um, and I bought a Dr Pepper. and a fruit cup which was really cute, it literally it's bright yellow and it looks like a lemon but it's like shaped like a normal cup but at the top it's like got like the segments of a lemon I'm just going to get some water because I'm so, I'm so thirsty yeah so my receipt £21.50 which I don't think is that bad to be honest I think it's pretty good. Um, I also brought a beer bucket. From the town shop as well, I've seen it and I was like, oh my god, that is so cool. It says cold beer here. And I think it's just awesome. It says open here and there's a bottle opener. So that's so cute. Oh, and the same the other side, so if there's like two people that want it in that. So, yeah. So that's cool, I'm so happy with that. Um, I've got my B&M receipt here as well. Yeah, I ah. So in B&M I spent... That can't be right. I oh, know, that's not my one. Oh yeah, I don't know how my BM receipt is, but, um, I'm just trying to see where, oh yeah, I got these from B&M as well, they were three for five pound, uh, the baking sheet, I'm really happy with that, so then we went to Dobby's, and I, oh no, 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 cancel that. Then I also seen these cute little mason jars. They're mini jars for salt and pepper shakers. And they were one ninety nine. And guys, I have looked everywhere for rose gold salt and pepper shakers. They were eleven ninety nine in the range for one big one. And I couldn't justify paying that. So then I found these. Guys. They are so cute. They've got the little S and P. I'm like, I'm all about that live because I need to know what's in the salt and pepper. And these are clear. I'm useless. So look at that, guys. I'm so happy right now. I am legit so happy right now. They're just cute. I'm so sad. I'm so sad and I'm so sorry, but these are so, so adorable and cute. And they make me so happy. And they're a double chin rest. Yeah, two, two for the price of one. Oh my god, okay. Let's go. So then, we went to Dobby's. 
which is quite nice. And I bought two things from that. So this was originally nine ninety nine, and it was down to three pound. And I was like, Shan likes an offer when she sees one, and she likes a good sale when she sees one. So it says it's tis the season to eat, drink, and be merry. Now obviously this is obviously going to probably more than likely be out for Christmas. But I've seen it and I thought, well, that's really cute. You know, I'm moving out so I could put it in with my my Christmas items. But yeah, so that's it. And I think it's really cute. It will definitely go with um, my theme of my kitchen as well. So happy with that one. And then the last thing that I brought was this. It says wash, brush, flush. Flush. <laughs> Wash, brush, floss and flush. Say that real quick without messing it up. Okay, so it's a cute little pack that will go perfectly in um, my, what's it called, my bathroom. And I just think it's so cute and so funny. Like, wash, brush, floss and flush. How many kids would do the actual, like, flossing dance move though? Like, it's just so funny. I don't even know why I find it so funny. But they'd be, like, giving it all up. Or what what they do with their hands, doing that. And like, it's actually, like, flush teeth. It's really not funny when I mention it and I say it. But in my head, it's really funny. I'm not with it. I'm not right. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Just bear with me. I'm going to get there. So, yeah. But that was everything. Um, Obviously, when it happened, it was in UK. The Father's, It was Father's Day. So... With me working shifts and everything, it's really hard to be able to spend time with my folks. Um, but yeah, I managed to spend quite a lot of like, the day with them. It was really nice. We all had a laugh. Um, obviously, um, yeah, at the end of the day, my videos aren't serious. I just try and tell you what I've been up to, what I find good, what I don't really find that good. Um, and I just try and cheer everyone up. Obviously, this time at the moment is awful. Everyone don't really know where they're coming or going. Um and I wanna make sure that everyone is happy. I want you to smile. Even if I make you giggle or you think what on earth is she doing? It's taking your mind off thinking anything negative. So I hope that it just makes you laugh more than anything. Um I'm not like a normal YouTuber. I don't have the backgrounds like they all do. That'll probably come with time if anyone if people subscribe more to my channel and things like that. Um I'm mainly just trying to think of different things that are more interesting um, and as I'm getting into the swing of things I'm hoping people are enjoying what I do more. So yeah, anyway, I've told you what to do. Subscribe, like and share please. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you all stay safe. Uh, we will all be with our families again soon, it's looking like it's lifting a bit quicker. Roll on the 4th of July, all the pubs are open. Um, when the pubs open, guys, be safe. Don't start fighting. If you see someone that you don't like, just don't have anything to do with them. So make a comment, just know that you bothered them, and that's it. That should be satisfactory enough. Just don't fight, don't ruin it for everyone, because the police are going to be involved, ambulance is probably going to be there, and they don't need it, you don't need it, just keep... Just keep on doing what you're doing and um, you've lasted so long without tearing someone's face off so what's the point what is the point in ruining it for yourself and having a rubbish day so be told guys be told be safe and be happy um so yeah see you later guys and i look forward to speaking to you all again so yeah bye